Hi, everybody. This is Cliff Matthews, the pastor of St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church. You're a pastor. And we're kicking off our introduction to our theme for 2021, which is St. Luke Matters. So over the next few weeks in the month of December, we're going to highlight different ministries or persons who uh, have a special role or place in the life of St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church. And they're going to talk about why St. Luke matters to them. So today I am honored uh, to be here with uh, the missions ministry group of the St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church. All of them are masked and gloved. My mask is in my hand. Uh, I couldn't talk with the mask on my glasses, didn't get foggy, right? So, but I want to highlight their work because throughout the pandemic, since April, this group has served probably over 15,000 meals to persons in our community, children and adults, persons who otherwise would not have had access to a hot meal. And they did so at a time when many of us were on lockdown. Uh, they came out at the height of the pandemic. We're now in the third wave of the pandemic. They're still out every day, Monday through Friday, serving our community. And so I wanted you to hear from them because they truly embody what it means to say St. Luke matters. So I want you to meet uh, Miss Garcia. Miss Garcia uh, is a newer member here at St. Luke, but just because she a newer member doesn't mean she sat at home. She got out, she got involved, made some friends, and she's changing the lives of folk around this community. So Miss Garcia, I want to ask you and the folk who are here, why does St. Luke matter to you? Well, I tell you, I feel like the Lord just led me to St. Luke uh, because when I came to Charlotte, I was looking for a church home and there were three others that I was going to visit, but my mind just stayed on St. Luke and I came here and I just found out how St. Luke works for the, in the community you know, helping people out. And I think that's, you know, that's a good thing. And my heart just led me, even though the pandemic was going on and I had had back surgery, so I haven't been here as long as the rest of them. But when I got where I could come out, I said, well, the pandemic is going on, but I still want to get out and do something. And this is what led me to St. Luke. And I just praise our pastor for having the heart to do the things that St. Luke does for the community. So that's my story. Well, wonderful, wonderful. St. Luke matters to Miss Garcia because St. Luke does the work of Christ in our community. And I wanna just introduce other folk who are here. Some are not here today, but they're, they're here in our hearts. Uh, we have Mr. Feaster, we have Sister AJ, Sister Barbara Jean, Mama D, we have Sister Welch, we have Teen Teen, uh, yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, Brother Lynn Brooms over here, our church sexton, or our custodian, who, who does, who keeps this place clean. Well, listen, I don't know about you, but I've been inspired by what they do. St. Luke matters to them, St. Luke matters to me. What about you? Thank you, and don't forget, St. Luke matters. Thanks. All right. Good afternoon. My name is Wilhelmina King, and I am so happy to say a few words on behalf of my church, because my church matters. It matters to me. It matters to my church family, my pastor, and we are so happy the way the Lord has provided and blessed us during this pandemic. We never thought we would be here this long doing what we do in this community, but God is so faithful and he is so good and he always provides. I've been here for about 43 years now and I cannot say enough about my church. They told me not to talk long, so I won't, but it has really been a blessing to me. It really has been a blessing. And that's all I'm gonna say because I might start crying if I keep talking. Hi, my name is Sandra White, and I just want to let you know that St. Luke Matters and what we do here at the, with the feeding program, and we just enjoy every day with what we do. 